Okay, let's talk about class and uh, uh, first of all, we finished talk about the several other fatty acids, then we'll go over the slides. So we mentioned about uh, fatty acids and the triglycerols. So today we want to talk about the sterile. Okay, first of all, the sterile, which is the relatives from steroid. Now, what are the basic structure looks like? The basic structure is very interesting. It is one carbon, uh, one six carbon ring, the second six carbon ring, oh sorry, it's too high here. So this is a one six carbon ring, another six carbon ring, and then I'm gonna draw another six carbon ring right here, and then we'll have a five carbon ring, which is like this. It's a basic structure. So we say, <coughs> we can label them as A, B, and C, D. So there is, a, we call it a three, six carbon ring with one, six carbon ring. Ruben five carbon ring. And uh, most of the time, the AB, it is usually called to be trans or cis configuration. And the CD ring, most of the time, is trans configuration. And uh, we see that often. There is a hydroxy. There's a hydroxy end showing in this position three. But I tell you one, one thing, if we label all the positions, there's a multiple location, it could be, it could be attached with either a meso or hydrogen. So the first thing is that we have to label them. So how are we gonna label them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Okay, we have to label them like that. I just want to make sure my label is correct. Yes. And uh, this, that, that's a label. For the AB ring, most of the time is methyl or hydrogen attached to it. For the CD ring, most of the time is a methyl group. Now, what are the locations usually will be attached by these, by methyl hydrogen? It is two, oh, sorry, it is three, four, seven, 11, 12, 14, and 17. Okay, so that is the overall we talk about that. Now I wanna give you an example. That's the thing, everybody knows. What's that? Cholesterol. This is everybody knows. Oh, you heard about that. So what's the structure of that one? Same thing, we have a two six carbon ring right here, another six carbon ring, then we're gonna have a five carbon ring, okay? Now the five carbon ring, let me draw this on the top. Cholesterol. <clears throat> What's gonna be looks like? It's gonna be up something right here. It's gonna be up something right here. So it goes on the top here, we're gonna be going here, CH3, then we go here, gonna come out. One, two, go here. Okay, so that's CH3, this CH3. Okay, 
Okay, that's carbon, carbon, carbon. Okay, so then you go here, you have a hydroxyl right there. No matter how you're going to label them. It's very similar, but a little bit different. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. This is eighteen. This is nineteen. Okay, then we do candy. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. That's car restaurant. Car restaurant right here, you have a hydroxy and there, we call it a beta configuration. It is very important because very possible, it will be showing you is a ester bond. Once you have an ester bond, it will be showing you some kind of surface activity. So that's why that structure is important. Now, when we talk about cholesterol, you should know that this is A is a structure. Number two, nutrition we talk about. Seven prime D hydro cholesterol is important because it is a precursor material for generate vitamin D with UV lights and uh, irradiation. Now, of course, in your real life, it's not going to be the UV lights, so what are going to be? It will become sunshine, is that right? Now, of course, vitamin B is interesting, uh, is important for the bone formation. Okay, that's the first Third thing we want to mention. Cholesterol, we don't like it because it will be associated with what? LDL. What is that? Low density lipoprotein. Is that right? Mm -hmm. This guy is not good in the blood. If this guy in the blood, it's very easy. If they could usually it's combined, associated. It will, will cause cardiovascular disease. Okay, so we have to avoid that. How we avoid that? So nutrition scientists will tell you to avoid animal fat. Okay, because major animal fat, the two major components Steric acids, steric acids, and what? Palmitic acids. And we just mentioned them yesterday. What is this? C18, zero. This is C16, zero. Okay. Taking some of the fruits, vegetables, or we call it uh, phyto. We call it uh, uh, phytosteroid. Uh, that's another topic we want to mean diet phytosterol. Okay, so this is something we want to mention uh, at, the, at the beginning, which is a uh, steroid. Then we want to mention another thing. That's in our life, you always have is a wax. Okay, what is that? Wax, you want to say it's very simple. It is a long chain. Not really fatty acids, sometimes fatty, long chain fatty acids is combined with a long chain alcohol. 
then you combine very similar to fatty acids with glycerol. They become triglycerols, so become a wax. So what does it look like? If you want to draw very briefly, like that. So give an example. B is waxy. What it looks like? CH3, CH2, 29, and C. O, O, then become what? CH2, 24, and CH3. Very long chain, they have uh, two methyl ends. Now what is used for the wax? We have animal wax from the feather. We have some mineral wax. And then most of the time is prone to the wax. And often the time, especially alcohols, we will be manually to spray the wax on the surface if it's not organic process. What therefore? <coughs> Prevent dehydration. Is that right? And some of the protection. Now, there are some people say the wax will be to inhibit the bacteria grow. That's another story. Okay, we did some research for that, the wax. So that's what we're gonna talk a little bit about the wax. So we mentioned about right there. The so next one, what we also want to mention is a phosphoric acid. Lipids, we already mentioned a couple of times. You learn in your biology class all the time. So what is that looks like? Phospholipids, the basic structure is very simple. We mentioned about triglycerides. It looks like it's very, very similar. So we have O, C, O, have all one. That's called the stereo specific number one. This is O. Or two, and most of the time, this happens in right here. It is a P instead of you have a C. So still have O negative, you have O right here, then you have X, which is a side chain. So often happens, it is in sterile specific number, is that three? Now it depends what type of the X it is. The so X will de determine what type of the phospholipids it is. So I gave you some examples. If this X is O, let's say, let's say just a very simple, just the OH. Okay, the first example, it is just OH. Then what is that? That is called Decide the chain X. If this X is OH, this is called phosphopidic gasing. If this X side the chain is CH2, CH2, NH2, this is called phospho. Uh, phosphor, uh, air, uh, uh, for phosphor, air, sir, arsenal, amine. If we want to make this a little bit complicated, we have CH2, CH2, then so go N plus, and then we have CH3. What is this one called? This is called phosphatidylcholine. This phosphatidylcholine, we have another name, lecithin. 
you heard about that. Often the time coming from sobbing oil. This guy is 50% from plants, different type of the plants. And it is a very good in mousy emulsifier, emulsification. It's a very good emulsifier, and uh, uh, we will mention later on real quick, okay? If this X is CH2, CH, NH2, OOH, what is that? Phosphatidylserine. That amino acid always will be reacted, become phosphonated. Now, so it depends on X chain. Okay, so what are going to be the phospholipids color looks like? The phospholipids. They usually reacted with water. They will go two directions. The two, first direction everybody knows is linear direction. This is you learned in your biology class in your high school, which is a double layer of fluid mosaic model of all those membrane systems, even plasma membrane system. Double layer of the membrane system, fluid mosaic model, and then we have a hydrophilic head and the so-called hydrophobic tail, or we call it a lipophilic. Okay, we also call this is a lipophilic. Because of this double layer, the protein could be inserted as it could move around. This is what we talk about in the biology class, you already know. How about here, what are we going to talk about? It could become a circle. This circle will be like this. Okay, what are going to be looks like? Very interesting. It will become a circle. Instead of linear. And that is important because when you become a circle, we have a very important terminology for that. We call it is a micelle. M I C E L L E. It is a micelle. This is usually a food product because it is in emulsifier. Okay, it becomes an emulsifier. That emulsifier usually called acuaceous food products. Why it is important? You have a Hydrophilic, hydrophobic, when you put the droplets in the food, for the process in the food products, it's like expanding the surface and connected with different type of food ingredients, and those could be dissolved or undissolved in the water. Okay, so that is uh, phospholipids. Um, we want to mention this guy, we also call it a lipo, uh, liposome. We call it a liposome. Okay, so these are the things, stereo, wax, and the phospholipids. Those are the three things we did not mention, so we finished uh, <coughs> mentioning these, then we're gonna, uh, using the slides to talk about the others. Okay, so I can just uh, turn this off.